Just take a look at the drip. <laughs> you boys don't get fired in this. Wait, it's lit. She wanna catch all of the drip, drip, drip. You taught now, it's let me hear you Oh! <laughs> Where are you located, Mr. Squirrel? Yeah, that's definitely a squirrel nest. Are you good if I pull this out? Oh, there's squirrels, all right. All right, Mr. Squirrel, here we come. You don't have any or not. What are you gonna just put the hose on them? <laughs> good. That's a tremendous idea. I'm all for it. The back? Yeah, like how right many of them did you see? It looks like there's two. Right? Should I stick something through the other side that pushes them back this way? Oh, I heard them. That's what I said. You hear something? They are pissed. Hi, Mr. Squirrel. What the you don't want that stuff in there. So we gotta get these guys out and move them. One of them is big enough to just go into the woods. The other one, I don't know. I mean, the water hose idea is not a terrible idea. Okay, so there's a little squirrel. Apparently the little squirrel, ow. The little squirrel was on the ground the other day, like crying and they picked it up. And then a mom squirrel came and got it and now he's back there and I don't I don't know. We this just, might just be perfect. Let's just do something to push him back that way into it. I'm about to hose some squirrels. Oh, oh dude, he's freaking cute. He is. Yeah, he's <laughs> oh my gosh. Are they going? Oh, they're right here. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm excited. Stuff's getting wet, but it doesn't matter. I'm blasting them. They're, they came down to this end for a second. We're gonna have to push him out physically. I uh, see you, Rex, but you don't have much time left, Rex. Oh, he found the money maker. I'm all the way, it's all the way. Oh, he's right here, bro. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, wait, 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 oh, they're right wait. here. No, get out. They're coming out. Oh, he's right here. Okay, all right, come down this channel. Come down this channel. Oh, you, you can get him. I had him in my hand for a second. Oh, shit. He jumped out. He jumped out and landed on me. That was a bold squirrel. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ha. He did not ha. like that. Ha. Did that hurt? Ha. Yeah, that hurt. You ever have a good squirrel bite? <laughs> that feels great. Hi. Oh my lord. Yeah, he bites. <laughs> Two or three times he got really close to me, like right at the, like stuck his face out at the end. Yeah. This time I see him running and I was waiting for him to stop and he just didn't stop. I don't think we should switch sides. I really don't like the way this keeps going. He's about to gun it. I just saw this thing. Here I come, old guy. You can't get out there. Oh, Full oh I see him. He's about to... <gasps> How did he just do that? How did you just do that? I wasn't letting him go. No, no, squirrels, no squirrels were harmed in the making of this video. How did you just do that? You just It's okay guys. It's okay. On him. You're not gonna get hurt guys. We just can't we can't have you right there Y'all are some bold little squirrels. All right. I appreciate it boss. Thank you. Wow. That was exciting I like that. That was intense. So basically the squirrels were they were messing up their insulation ripping everything up um, Which wasn't good. They were making noises They needed them to be taken out and we took them out without hurting them or anything dude that one I'm, I'm telling you that thing was like it looked like it was doing hurdles like full speed I mean I could see it just like four legs <laughs> like bro the they squirrel jumped the squirrel jumped off the roof and you literally went midair for and dove for it and just grabbed grabbed it before it got away. I don't think anybody can do that. I was not, I was not You've always had a random calling where the animals listen to you, but that was strange. So I, I got bit by, by the first one twice. Girl Avenue. Shut up. The first one tried to kill Nate. I'm not keeping these guys in here. I just have to have somewhere to put them while I can call. Maybe like the game warden. I don't know. Cause I gotta make sure I can just let them go. Or I don't know how old they are. I just want to make sure, but this is bigger than that. And I can put some water in here for them. Oh, cuties. Hey buddy, you gotta let go. Oh, he's so cute. He is cute and soft. Got Look, he's, he's pretty nice. Is it a mom and it's a baby or is it a... Okay, so if I slide this top off, there's one squirrel down there. And these guys are like super tiny actually. I didn't really realize. I couldn't find the other one until I looked close and realized he's literally, he's right there. He buried himself under the mulch and now he's just kind of laying down. So I'm gonna let them be. I just filled up their water though. And now I just gotta find out like what's more beneficial. Like, so I gotta call Texas Parks and Wildlife to make sure I can just let them go into the wild, which I'm pretty sure I can. It's good to call. Two, I gotta find out how old they are and see if it's better for me to feed them for the next like week or two and then let them go or just let them go now. I, I think they're fine, but they're also super, super tiny. I don't know if the camera does it any justice, but they're like, they're tiny, tiny. So that's what we have to do. But for right now, if they're super cute. Comment some names down below. Oh, and by the way, I don't think I explained this, guys. This squirrel the other day, its mom had picked it up and brought it back up there. And then its mom left yesterday and they've been crying, like crying ever since. That's one of the reasons they asked me to come out today because it, it was constant and they like they couldn't take it. So like this this squirrel's mom left. Like we weren't just taking them because they were in the way. They were, we were mainly taking them because they were one, taking the insulation and two, they wouldn't stop crying. So yeah. 
just so you know. There's Russell, Greg's back there, and the goats are over here. And then the chickens, they just, they roam the yard. Well, yeah, two two baby squirrels are just kind of doing their thing. But no, we uh, we got them removed. Their house is good. They're not tearing up their insulation anymore. So that is a-okay. All right, so we're feeding all the animals. This is... Duck feed. Duck feed. All right, you hand feed the alpacas. Oh, Craig. And then goat food, duck food. There you go, Russell. Ow. All right, guys. Hi. Go to Victor. Go, why are you trying to eat my hand? I don't even have the food. There we go. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I love how all the animals, they hand feed. That's fantastic. All right. We got the ducks, goat food. Hey, we are, we are moving. Gosh dang it, pickle boots. Oh gosh, here they come. All right, so this is for the goats. A little bit there. That's all they need of that. Oh, the ducks are eating it. Stop it. There you go, guys. And then that is what the ducks eat. Steven, gosh dang it, that's not your food. She's having the time of her life. You got a lot. Oh. Let me get the stuff off of you. <laughs> you arguing with the alpacas? All right, hey, oh gosh. This is about a five minute daily thing and it's super, super simple. And they, I mean, that's really all it takes. I, I mean, I love the goats, I love the alpacas, I love the ducks, everything is thriving, including our squirrels. Jesus, pickle boots, how'd you even get over here? Move, no, oh my. Oh my gosh, oh, no, 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 oh gosh. Hi, I love you, buddy. So this is my girlfriend and she is about the size of the alpacas and is having the time of her life feeding creatures her size. How are you doing? You happy? Feeding the alpacas? Come on, sweetie. Get at your little butt cheeks in there. Oh my gosh, there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel right here. There's a squirrel right here. This squirrel's about to attack. I don't know, I can't tell if it's trying to attack it or not. Those other squirrels are scared. The tiny squirrels are terrified right now. Okay, all right, well. That squirrel tried to attack our little squirrels, so maybe we should not let them go yet. Our little squirrel was freaking terrified. It had it had no problem coming like right up to me. Like, that thing was ready to jump on me. It looked like it was about to attack the little yeah, one. Yeah, I did, because it like was picking at it. Was it was trying to pick at it. it. Like, it was trying to grab him. The other one was terrified trying to get away. I don't know, I don't know a lot about squirrels. This would be a great time for you guys to use. Oh, here it comes. Oh, near me. Don't let him get you. Here we go. Oh, hey big guy. I don't know if you're nice or not. Oh. Every time, it's like right on me. I don't know what to think. I'm, I'm not a squirrel master. This little squirrel is now angry. All right, guys, all right. Oh. Take off this in there. All right. So, this right here feeds the big tank. This right here feeds all of the other tanks. It's That's it, that's that's how easy it is every other day. All right, Mr. Exoludal. There you go. And, okay. Of course, want to get some for the puffer. The electric catfish and the goldfish will eat a lot of this. This is where it gets interesting. Uh, okay, there you go. Got it. Oh, he literally hit it back up on top of the water. He, yo, come on. Oh, got it. Oh yeah, there, there. No, 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 no. You don't need that much. You don't need that much food. You don't need. You don't need that much food. Oh my gosh, everybody's freaking out. Oh, Arowana got that. Oof, got him. Just look, this Oscar thinks he can eat everything, bro. You have a mouthful of food. Like, bro, I don't understand. You're gonna die. And then the flower horn will eat some of this. With everything being said, hopefully you went on to enjoy today's video. I do need your help. I am going to call Texas Parks and Wildlife to see what I can do. It looked like that other squirrel was trying to go at it, but of course, I don't know squirrel's personality very well. I'm not entirely sure. So I am going to call them, see what's going on. But if you guys are new to my channel, I'm guessing a lot of you came from TikTok, considering I've gotten like 10,000 subscribers in the past few days just from people off TikTok, which is insane. And an example of some of the TikToks I upload is something like this. So the other day I got shocked by an electric catfish, and you can obviously see it hurt pretty freaking bad although the bigger they get the more the shock hurts so i decided to get him a little bit bigger and get shocked again but that's just like an example so thank you guys for all the support and all the platforms we're about to hit 30k on instagram 300,000 on youtube and 300,000 on tiktok so i love you guys back to the bit isn't that right craig look at him he's saying yes he's looking he's looking right at me but if you get to join the channel click the subscribe button down below click the like button and click the notification bell to get constant notifications but everything's doing good out here in the little miniature zoo if you have any videos ideas or suggestions comment those things down below and i will catch you next time on the next episode of fanatic peace Thank you